Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make low poly trees in Blender. Let's get started. Press Shift A and add a cube. Hit the Tab key to switch to edit mode. Hit the M key and merge the vertices at the center. So, the cube becomes a single point. Press numpad 1 to switch to the front view. Hit the E key and extrude the tree trunk. Then, extrude the branches as you wish. Select the vertex and press numpad 3 to switch to the side view. Extrude the branch. Select the vertex and extrude another branch. Select the branches and double R key to rotate randomly. So, we can have a more realistic 3D view. We can also move the branches randomly. All right, go to the Modifier tab and add a Skin Modifier. As you can see, the Skin Modifier uses vertices and edges to create a skinned surface, but it looks too thick. In order to scale down the skin, hit the A key and select all vertices. Press Z key, switch to wireframe mode, and ensure all vertices are selected. Press Control A and scale down the skin. Select the tip vertices and scale down in the same way. Select the branch vertices and scale down a little bit. Select the bottom vertex and scale up a little bit. Press Z key to switch to solid mode. If there is any problem in the skin, select the problematic vertex and move around. All right, let's create the leaves now. Select any tip vertex, press Shift S, and cursor to selected. Switch back to object mode. Add an icosphere. Set the subdivision level to five. So we can have more vertices to work with. Switch back to edit mode. Enable the proportional editing tool. The shortcut key is the O key. Select any vertex, hit the G key, and move. As you can see, the other vertices follow this vertex based on the influence circle. We can scroll down the mouse wheel to scale up the influence circle or scroll up to scale down, so we can shape the mesh as we wish. Switch back to object mode. Hit the S key to scale down, G key to grab, and R key to rotate the mesh. In order to make low poly, go to the Modifier tab and add a Decimate modifier. Decrease the ratio value. That's it. Press Shift D to duplicate and place the new mesh.
switch to edit mode and edit the mesh with the proportional editing tool. In the same way, add other leaves. Before we apply the modifiers, select the tree trunk and duplicate. Switch to edit mode, then switch to wireframe mode. Select these vertices and delete them. Switch back to solid mode and object mode. Select any mesh, duplicate it, and bring it over to the other tree. Switch to edit mode and edit with the proportional editing tool. Go back to the object mode. All right, let's apply the decimate modifier. Select any mesh and apply the decimate modifier. Select each mesh and apply the modifier. Now, select the tree trunks and apply the skin modifier. Select the first trunk and switch to edit mode. As you can see, the skin modifier adds quad faces around the tree. We can also decrease the quad amount and make the mesh lower poly. Disable the proportional editing tool. Enable the auto merge option. So the vertices will be merged automatically when they are close enough to each other. Go to the outliner editor and hide the leaves in the viewport. Hold down the alt key and select the edge loop. Hit the double G key and slide the edge loop to the other one. Repeat the process in the same way. We can also bend the tree trunks. They look so straight. Select the trunk edge loop. Enable the proportional editing tool and bend the trunk. We can also make shade smooth. Go back to object mode, select the trunk, right click and make shade smooth. It's time to add materials. Press Z key and switch to render preview. Click on the render properties tab and switch to the EV render engine. We're gonna use environment texture for lighting. Go to the World Properties tab, click on the Color node, and choose Environment Texture. Click on the Open button and choose any HDRI image. Return to the Render Properties tab, scroll down to the Film section, and enable the Transparent option. So, the background will be transparent.
Select the trunk and go to the Material Properties tab. Click on the new button to add material. Rename the material as Trunk. Choose the base color, dark brown. Set the roughness value all the way up to 1. Select the other trunk and choose the trunk material from the material list. Select the leaves and add a new material. Rename the material as leaves. Choose the base color, dark green. Set the roughness value to 0.7. Select all leaves holding the shift key. The leaf we have just added has to be the last selection. Press Ctrl L and link the materials. There we go. If you want to make any leaf single and independent material, select the leaf and click on the 5 number. So we can change the material separately. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.